So I, I know the guy very well. He's a very good wrestler and he's heavy handed. But I'm pretty sure that Brazilians, they don't afraid by heavy handed guys. Let's go. This is a specific rule set when you can take your opponent down, but you can stay there only 30 seconds. So he, Dylan Gergiev oh, is okay. already going for the, the takedown and he went right into the guillotine. He escaped the guillotine, but fast. yeah, he has to be careful with the triangle. Yeah. This guy is very difficult to top, the Bulgarian guy, but, but still we see a very, very aggressive ground game from Gustavo. And the, the key here is the rule set because Delan cannot punch Gustavo in the head while he's in a top position, but he can be punched and by the bottom uh, fighter. Cannot go over 30 seconds, right? Yeah. On the, on the mat. So the referee, Mr. Shield, is stood them up. Send them up, yes. Gustavo is southpaw, he's waiting. I think he can work down. on both sides. Yeah, point, yeah or he's very capable. He's showing the different looks. And now I think he's waiting for, for Delan Gergiev takedown. Nice exchange. Good low kick from the Brazilian fighter. Nice work, yeah. Gustavo is playing smart. He's showing the, the straight kick. He's trying to avoid the takedown. He, and he's fainting all the time. But Delan is not, he's not biting this. Yeah, Gustavo must go in and not all the time. When he stays, he's going to the ground. Nice. Oh, see? High kick. Whoa. Good attack and then takedown, but he mm. got into the guillotine. He has to be careful. I think the guillotine is deep. Delan is very difficult to, to choke. Look. I think he needs to release the hold if, if he's not into it because he will burn his arms out. Yeah. Punching to the body and, and then it safe. And then 30 seconds. Corner Dylan is telling him to go forward and to attack. They think that. They think that uh, Gustavo burned his arms with this uh, guillotine attempt. First round finished. First round finished, and it's very interesting. Good takedowns mm -hmm. from Delan Gurgir, but then immediately he got into the two guillotine chokes, yeah. uh, guillotine attempts, and then uh, it was this uh, triangle attempt. King score positive for Gustavo, right? Yeah. Let's see, uh, I, I would like to see more output from Delan. He's waiting too much. And Gustavo is, is playing this game, just showing a different look, switching his stances, trying with the middle kick, with the high kick. Nice takedown and immediately got into the guillotine. Yeah. Good kick. Nice knee. So this rule set allows three minute rounds, so I don't think that the conditioning will be an issue for no, any of these not. fighters. It's not gonna be. They're, they're very accustomed to <laughs> five minute rounds. And these guys can work for 10 minutes if, if necessary. Both of them very well conditioned. Gustavo is trying to counter the land kick. He's feeling comfortable, man. Yeah, he's always smiling, playing a mind game. He has to be careful. Dylan just missed him with the haymaker, with the right hand. Nice to the body, but Gustavo is putting some pressure. Nice, nice timing. Nice timing on this high kick. It's hard when you 
kick, you know, straight kick without punches because it's too easy for the guy to go on, uh, under and take you down, you know. He tried to pass his guard and he has need the stomach, but Gustavo got him in the crucifix position. He passed his guard, has to move fast to improve his again. position, but they're standing again. Minute and 45 seconds left in this round. Gustavo must work. He spent too much time on his back in this round. He has to put some uh, offense, and now he, he will be taken down again. Yeah. I see this a uh, good advantage for, for Delan. Making good points, putting him down. Right now, this round is going in Delan's favor. Yeah, I think so. So now he's avoiding the submissions. He's already aware of the, the attacks of uh, his Brazilian opponent. So he's uh, countering this triangle attempt. And again, less than a minute in a round, they're standing. Gustavo has to mount some of offense. He's waiting too much. But he must, it, you know, for me do exactly what, what he did in the first round, in and out, but more active. If you go in and stay, he's going to go to the ground again. He's not fighting, he, yeah. he just stays in front of Delam. He's trying to land a big punch, and it, this is a mistake. Yeah. Nice kicks. Ten seconds. Gustavo looks a little bit tired. Oh, Dylan landed a nice right hand. You know, also, when you're on the ground, you absorb too much. The guy's weight, the guy's energy, so that makes you, you know, even tired. So what do you think, an even fight right now? Try. Even fight right now? I, I, I see a little bit advantage for, for Delan in the second round. The first round was pretty even to me, but now the second round, Delan uh, uh, put more his rhythm and uh, was a good takedowns for him. And Gustavo didn't connect <laughs> anything like really clear. So I give the second round for, for Delan, for, for the Bulgaria fighter. Definitely lower output for Gustavo in the second round. And uh, let's be honest, he didn't have the opportunity because he was on his back most of the time. Yeah. Uh, two or three times for 30 seconds. So let's see if Gustavo will be more aggressive in this third round. He needs to. And he, he didn't show so far that he can stop Dylan's takedown. Nice low kick. Nice combination, and Gustavo yeah. looks slower. No. Considerably slower than the previous two rounds, especially from the first one. Good ground and pound from the line. Good ground and pound past his guard. He has enough time to attempt a su submission. You don't need to rush himself. Yeah. Just pick a good shot. He's controlling the pace right now. He's controlling the fight. You're going to stand up, and then the line's going to be fresher. Gustavo will be even tired. Almost half round. Yeah, Gustavo looks tired. Nice oh, uppercut, nice, nice uppercut. Right uppercut. He connected well, but again got taken down. Yeah. 
And again, he's passing his guard. Need to the stomach, full mount. He will try to attack the, the head and arm. Choke. He's not in a perfect position, but he's very, very strong. Yeah, right now, Gusto Gustavo is safe. Yeah. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Yeah, Gustavo is going all in. He needs a knockout right now. Definitely. Beautiful takedown from Delen. But Delen is playing safe now. Yeah, he of course. He need to. He doesn't need to stay up and you know, and then and then trade his punches and kicks. Yeah, he, he will tap him. He will mm -hmm. tap him out. Von oh. flu choke. He blocks his arm and he's putting pressure on his shoulder. 20 seconds. He will try to finish him with the von flu choke. Gustavo is showing that he's okay. He's, okay. he's putting pressure with his shoulder, yeah. but then. 10 seconds. Ooh. Yeah, the, they didn't hear the bell, but the fight is over, and I think that we can give two comfortable rounds for Delan, Delan. second and third. Yeah, and I love the rules for the, the KWU Open. If you don't have a game plan on the ground, then you will quickly be stood back up. Uh, while we're waiting for the scorecards from the judges, we'd like to introduce you to Sensei Andrews Nakahara to come up and do the rewards. And we have the official scorecard from the judges. It is a unanimous decision. 30 to 28, 30 to 27, 30 to 28 in favor of the blue corner, Delian Gjorke. Sensei Andrews Nakahara is now putting on the winner's belt and also presenting him with the big trophy. They will also now both be presented with a plaque of gratitude from Senshi as we recognize that each fighter are equal in the way that they put everything into the ring. Thank you very much. Fighters exit the ring.